Hello everyone and welcome to my channel. I won't bore you with a lot of introduction, but there are some things you should know before starting. First of all, you should check if your switch is unpatched. You can do that on this site by entering the serial number of your console. If you get this message, it means that you are ready to jailbreak. In case it is patched, then you have to install the mod chip and then come back to this tutorial. You can find the mod chip installation tutorial in the video description. On my channel, you can find many tutorials related to Switch and other gaming consoles. In addition to the unpatched Switch, you need an RCM jig, a micro SD card, an SD card reader, a USB cable, and a Mac computer. For switches with a mod chip, you only need a micro SD card and an SD card reader. Speaking of SD cards, be sure to watch this video because there are a lot of fake SD cards on the market. So without further ado, let's get started. Connect your SD card to your Mac computer using an SD card reader, and then download the AIO pack from the download link. In the future, the version of the package may differ, but don't worry because the procedure is the same. Open Disk Utility and click on your SD card. Click on Erase, select FAT, and then confirm Erase. Extract the AO pack using the unpacker, or the tool you prefer, and then drag everything from the SD files folder to the root of the SD card. Do not pay attention to the other files in the package. From this package, you only need the files that are in the SD files folder. Put Hecate bin aside, because you will need it in the next step. If you have a switch with a mod chip inside, skip the next step and just turn on your switch after inserting the SD card. So eject the SD card and put it back in the switch. If your switch was on like mine, turn it off now. Slide the RCM jig in place of the right Joy-Con, and then do what I did. While holding volume up, press the power button to enter recovery mode. Now connect your switch to Mac using USB-C cable. Open the web payload injector link from the video description. Click on Upload Payload and then choose File. Select the Hecate bin we talked about and click Do the Thing. Click on APX and then Connect. Go to Emu MMC. Create Emu MMC SD file. Depending on the SD card you are using, this process should not take more than 30 minutes.
The whole process took 14 minutes for me and MUMMC is enabled. In case it is disabled for you, you have a problem with the SD card that we talked about at the beginning of the video. Now go to launch and launch MUMMC. There is one more important thing you should know. After each shutdown, you need to repeat the payload injection procedure in order to be able to launch EMU MMC. Otherwise, you will go straight to the stock firmware. You should also know that EMU MMC is protected from being banned. You don't need to take any extra steps to do that. You also don't have to worry about an accidental update when a new firmware version comes out. As you can see next to the firmware version, I got the label AMS, which means atmosphere. In the homebrew menu, which is hidden behind the album app, you will find tinfoil and a woo installer, which are used to install games. I heard somewhere, but I'm not sure where, a rumor that tinfoil has the possibility of adding a free shop. They say that if you enter the file browser and press the minus button, some fields will appear that you need to fill in and then save. But those are just rumors, I guess. I hope this video helped you. If you have any question, write below in the comment. If you are not sure what you are doing and want to do it together, or you need help with homebrew apps, you can always contact me on Instagram. Thanks for watching.